Notre Dame. Of course, their NBC deal right now currently worth about $25 million. Everybody has talked about whether or not it makes a financial sense or if they could even get away with staying independent right now based on what the Big Ten is doing with their current media rights deal and, of course, what the SEC has done. We have two Power Five conferences. We'll just call them the Super Two, whatever it is, the Power Two, because that's all we've got right now. It's two conferences that really are making up the bulk of this. Uh, but it appears, you know, we talked about Notre Dame asking for $75 million in their next media rights deal. Front Office Sports is reporting. Notre Dame's next media deal expected to fetch $60 million annually. Now, that makes sense. They, are, they have always been willing to take a bit of a pay cut just so that they can stay independent and do what they want to do. And I totally understand which direction that they're going. It says uh, the school's current deal worth $25 million per year. Uh, outlets reported in July, Notre Dame was seeking $75 million. And, you know, it, it drew some speculation because they are the only thing that was on NBC for the longest time. There was no shoulder programming. But NBC got them a lifeline with this Big Ten deal. And so long as there is shoulder programming, those Notre Dame ratings will skyrocket. I am convinced here. Uh, it says here, a report from November 2021 revealed viewership for Notre Dame's football games was down 48% year over year with an average of 2.5 million viewers. Now, let me let me go ahead and tell everybody, 2.5 million viewers in college football terms is gold, especially when you realize that when they face, against, or face off against uh, Clemson or USC or Stanford or any other number of big-time teams, right, big brands, that number skyrockets. They have, really, Notre Dame has kept the ACC in business because their non-conference deal, where they play five games per season against ACC competition, has really made that ACC deal worth what it is. Now, it says uh, in 2020, Notre Dame produced the most viewers since 2005, but in 2019, viewership hit a record low for NBC with 2.1 million viewers. That's because the home slate in 2019 was pretty much garbage. Uh and that's all that NBC has the rights to is Notre Dame's home games. Sports Business Journal reported the $60 million figure, noted the landscape could change when NBC's current deal is up in 2025. Notre Dame had no matchups against Power 5 teams ranked in the AP Top 25 for the 2021 football season, but a new deal with NBC could mean the Fighting Irish would face Big Ten teams more often. Uh, now, it, it does have, this was before the Big Ten rights were agreed to, etc., or at least announced. Um, this is, this is going to be interesting. Because now that you've got that shoulder programming for Notre Dame, I expect those viewers to jump through the roof. I think it's going to be huge for them because you go immediately from a Notre Dame game into a Big Ten game on Saturday night. You don't have to leave the channel if you're a Big Ten fan. You can just watch the Notre Dame game, which will always be considered a big-time game, and you jump right into whatever the Saturday night game is for that conference. I think it's, uh, I think it's smart. I think it's good, and I think that this allows Notre Dame to stay independent. A $60 million deal, probably for the lifetime of, it, it, let's say, if it starts in 2025. Is that right? i got to double-check this. Da, 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 da. Let's see. Oh, NBC's deal is up in 2025. So, probably going to go a little further than the Big Ten rights, but... We'll figure that out when we get there. <laughs> Since the Big Ten rights start in, uh, they might sound like a five-year deal then. Uh, the Big Ten rights is uh, is seven years, and I guess that'd be four years. Regardless, regardless, uh, what we're looking at here is Notre Dame being able to stay independent for quite some time because their deal is up just at the same time that the college football playoff contract is up with ESPN, and you know that the CFP, you heard Bob Thompson on the show with me last week, you know that that CFP deal is going to be massive because you now have NBC wanting to get involved, CBS, ESPN, Fox, and the streamers. You have people that really want a piece of the college football postseason, and they are going to pay a pretty penny for it. They really are. It's going to be a massive, massive deal, especially if they decide to expand, which I would almost guarantee. I mean, we're talking 99.99% that that thing will expand. 
Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.